Let's go over how to choose your domain name. Here are 10 rules for choosing the best domain name for your business or personal website. Alright, first let's brainstorm your top 5 keywords. Basically, your top 5 keywords are going to be related to your your target audience, like who you um, who is your ideal audience that you want visiting your site. Uh, if it's just a general audience and you're doing like a personal blog or something, then I mean it could be your name or whatever you want your brand to be. Um, for you know a blogging example, that guy Perez Hilton, uh, he just uses his pen name. I assume it's a pen name. Uh, but then there's other people like some uh, mom bloggers who have become pretty famous who use. I remember some name that was like something something diva, you know. So uh, it's just all about appealing to your market. And um, if you're going to be selling something, then I really advise doing enough research uh, on on your keywords for what you're going to sell, so that you can maybe include some in your domain name. But then again, if you have something to sell, that should be pretty easy because your domain name should be kind of related and include a keyword from um, you know what you're selling from the name of what you're selling. So anyway, let's go on to the next. Uh, obviously, uh, I had to put this in here. Make your domain name unique. You don't want to follow follow the leaders or follow the trends. Um, just you know, making up a silly name so you can be like Web 2.0 companies and stuff like that. Uh, make something that's going to stand out and um, concentrate on on authority. Uh, you know, like authori an authoritative feel for whatever niche you're going to be in. And another important one, I see some people starting their site with .info domains and I just really don't recommend that. Um, it's still definitely best to choose .com because I mean what do you think of when you think of a website you think of something .com and that's what almost everybody does so um, like for example if you buy something something .net I guarantee you there's going to be a significant percentage of people who visit your site something something .net and then they want to come back so they go type in something something .com and it's probably taken which is probably why you got .NET. So try to think of a different name so you can get a .com domain. It's going to be the best investment. Um, next, we have you got to make it easy to type. Obviously, um, well, Facebook.com, for example, that's really ridiculously easy to type. It's probably a percentage of their success that it was easy to type. Um, if it had a bunch of X's and L's and stuff like that going all across the keyboard, people wouldn't want to type it in and they'd just be lazy about it especially since it's social networking so anyway just uh... my advice for that i'm not really you know obsessive over it but just go ahead and you know type in whatever domain you're thinking about a few times and see if it feels good that's that's as far as i get in it i don't think there's really a big science to it and it's not a big huge thing to worry about and of course make it easy to remember um, you know you don't want to have a domain it's like a bunch of keywords in there so if some if you consult with some quote SEO professional and he tells you to stuff your domain with keywords like I sell blue widgets dot com or blue widgets on fire for sale dot com it's just you know that's not going to be something long term that's going to rank in Google for some quote you know, so called long tail keywords that are you know where people type in a lot of keywords at once and it's not going to be many visitors so um, just concentrate on the on the big keywords and make it easy to remember so um, yeah yeah use your domain to create expectations of what your site's about um, and then when people visit your site you want to deliver on what they expect same thing uh, goes for advertisements like say you throw throw an ad up on on Facebook ads you want your ad to coordinate completely 100 percent with what's on your landing page it should the messages should be coordinated and go together we'll talk more about landing pages and ads and stuff in in the next modules uh, somewhere in this course but just think about your domain name almost like it's an advertisement and it needs to be completely coordinated with what's on your home page and so the message is congruent and next set yourself apart with a brand I already kind of covered that when I talked about being unique but it is 
it's um you know search engines are getting smarter you know like google uh, they're never going to be perfect because that's subjective if that's the right word um but i think branding is becoming a, a bigger deal than it used to be uh because google's had to filter out the um, bottom feeders who are just trying to you know trick google into ranking their sites um using the keyword stuff domains and stuff like that so google's focusing more on you know uh, have you built a brand are you building a real a real um well i guess that's that's what they're really after are you real because if you have a personal site it's kind of easy for it to be real but then again most personal sites they don't have like an agenda for you know trying to rank for certain keywords they just um you know rant about whatever and share their their life which is moving towards facebook anyway but uh if you're running a business you definitely want to look like a brand excuse me from the beginning uh, let me get some water here sorry about that yeah you want to look like a brand so like even on my projects where it's not uh, an actual business where it's like affiliate stuff I started you know adding a phone number um, like contact us privacy policy all that kind of stuff just like really trying to set it up as close to as possible as close as possible to being a real business so that when I am ready to like introduce my own products and stuff to it then it's already set up and it's already got you know as much authority status as possible in Google's eyes uh, you know for their algorithm so uh, just about thinking long term that's that's how I like to do things and of course avoid using hyphens and numbers I'm talking about again like uh, something like buy blue widgets online.com with dashes in between all those words I mean I'm not gonna say that that strategy is not valid but that's more for like building out networks of sites that all are like that and trying to catch people um, trying to rank for when people type in those keyword phrases exactly but you're you're starting a business or a personal site probably if you're watching this video so that's probably not something you're going to be interested in doing at this point if you're you know if this is for your business and it's the name of your business or it's your your personal brand then definitely avoid using hyphens and numbers and uh, finally just to top things off use a quick easy domain selection tool I wish I had known about these when I started out because uh, I had to do one domain at a time really slowly checking through registrars and oh it was annoying but anyway there's great tools online like Domainer that's D-O-M-A-I dot N-R and another one is Dom well Dom Domjax I guess you you could pronounce it D-O-M-G <laughs> D-O-M-J-A-X and that's going to those are both tools that you can use to find domain ideas so let's go to Domjax for example and type in backflips uh, Ian's backflips I wonder if that's available because I've been trying to work on my backflips <laughs> backflips and uh, back handsprings okay so that's available and here's some more ideas or no those are some more extensions I'd like some more ideas though so this is basically a quick checker Domainer that's a good place for um, getting more ideas let's check that out so Ian's backflips I'll just hit enter so this is getting getting me some ideas for other extensions I would if if you're not doing a site that's like in the webmaster niche like uh something that people who are web savvy would know about um then i recommend definitely sticking with dot com and uh if we go to google there's a lot of domain research tools yeah there's a lot there you can go check through them I'm gonna provide um, a bigger list besides just these two websites on this page that you're on right now so that you'll have uh, some more extra resources to, to use and take advantage of but anyway um, 
yeah, it's been 10 minutes, so I don't need to make this video any longer. Have fun choosing your domain name, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.